and a very good morning to you. And now, Suffer the Little Children, a book by Corinne Meyer. In 2009, I read an interview in the Wiener Zeitung, an Austrian paper. Corinne Meyer, the provocative French author and psychoanalyst, said that childhood was a disaster. And her then latest book, No Kids, 40 Reasons for Not Having Any, had managed to shock the entire French nation. The book was too much for the normally cool French, and feelings were high. Having children, said Corinne Meyer, was just about the worst and most stupid thing that anyone could possibly do. Children were boring and dull, and with them you were never free to do what you wanted, and school holidays were the worst. They were restricted to mindless time-killing things. Kids only loved Sue's and Disney World, both as Corinne Meyer believed were as bad as the plague. And as for museums, or any other kind of culture, forget it. Then of course there was Christmas. This was the one time in the year when people could prove what good parents they actually were. All that was needed was a very good present. The rule was, and still is, if the kids are happy, then the parents are happy as well. Corinne Meyer found nothing good to say about children. She described them as leeches, killjoys, future losers, boring and squealing gremlins, all of which naturally meant that she too had been all of these things when she was a child, and being a child was something she hated, and the reason was simple. Corinne Meyer was born in Geneva, which really makes her Swiss, not French, a fact which she blamed for her very boring childhood. She hated school, she had no real friends, and her father was an unexciting businessman, and her mother a tiresome housewife. So what sort of person is Corinne Meyer now? Surprisingly, Corinne Meyer is, despite her very own forty good reasons for being the opposite, a mother. She has two children, which she had because she was scared of being alone, and life, because of them, is a battle. She has to get them up in the morning, she has to feed and clothe them, she has to make sure that their homework is done, and because they take all of her time, she can't be herself. And this is her problem. Childhood, she says, is not paradise, and children are nothing other than objects which are owned and controlled by their parents. Utopia is being grown up, because it is then that one can do what one wants. And as far as Corrie Meyer is concerned, if you really want to bring up a parasite, then you're better off with a gigolo. All very strong words. In short, Corinne Meyer is everything that she never wanted to be. Maybe she was just scared of herself. Or is the answer much simpler? Could it be that she simply hates life? A good question. But judging by the number of people who bought and read her book to the end, she must be a very good writer. Corinne Meyer a writer who wrote about a subject she hates. But does she hate all the money it made her? Children normally cost very much money, but Cory Meyer was clever. Her children not only made her a fortune, but shocked the French nation as well. And that's a very hard thing to do. Au revoir, Madame Meyer. Suffer the Little Children, a book by Corinne Meyer.